How's it going? What's your name? My name is Tyra Swan. Tyra? Oh, cool. Where are you from originally? I'm originally from the Colville Reservation. Um, it's like a little tiny, tiny little town on the Colville Reservation called Inchleam. Where, where's that at? In Washington? Or? Uh, yeah, it's in Washington. It's oh, by like the Columbia River. Oh, wow. How'd you, how'd you get out over here? Um, so I dropped out when I was 17 and had my first baby um, he was a boy and then um, I didn't really go back to school I stayed on the reservation tried to do in-home care for like a few years since I was 18 to 19 um, had my daughter at 19 so I quit working kind of just lived out there not really doing anything there wasn't anything to do out there there's nothing to do out there and um, yeah like there was just partying drugs and so I got into drugs and didn't wasn't taking care of my kids and stuff so like I decided to move out of the reservation <laughs> and yeah did you grow up with uh, both parents no I didn't grow up with either parents actually uh, my grandma and my papa raised me both of them are drug addicts so I always said I was never gonna be like them but I was like them for a long time really yeah really? your parents are, are they still alive or? um both of my parents are alive um, they're still living on the reservation, just getting high every day. Yeah, yeah. I don't were have you, much were, communication. Were your grandparents pretty cool? Uh, my grandparents, yeah, they were. My papa built his own property on the reservation. Um, started from nothing, just built it. All uh, he had, they we had seven. They took care of seven grandkids, and um, growing up, I didn't have much, so I started being like a really bad kid, really young, and doing drinking, doing drugs at like 13. Um, started being like sexually active and like just being a bad kid pretty much <laughs> so what did yeah. your grandparents say about that um I they put me in juvie a few times um, oh, and did. I just kept running away and they kept finding me and I would come back and um, and then I'd go back <laughs> so finally by the time I was I think 16 they kind of just gave up on me and then like I said I, I got pregnant by 17 17? Yeah. Did, did, uh, I mean, you see you went to Juvie? Too. Yeah, I've been to Juvie a few times actually, but um, it was from not going to school, running away, um, kind of not doing what I was supposed to do <laughs> and violating probation and stuff like that. That's pretty tough. Do you, do you, do your parents, your grandparents, uh, I mean, do you speak to your parents now? I, mean, do um, I do have some conversation with them, but we don't have much of a relationship. Um, I'll let them say hi to my kids and stuff, but I don't let them watch them or, you know, like touch them, really. <laughs> are, you, are you in care of your kids right now? Or? Uh, no, my kids are currently on the reservation while I'm out doing what I'm doing, trying to make money. What, what are you doing? So I moved out to Spokane and I started working at Amazon and I just didn't like the I didn't I didn't like them make five. like the nine to five and like the long hours. So I started stripping uh -huh. and doing like sex work like OnlyFans and stuff. Oh like in the sex industry? Yeah, stuff? like so yeah. Oh, I'm yeah. like a sex worker kind of. Um, How long have you been doing that? I've been doing that for like three years now. Good. So I'm twenty three now, I'll be twenty four. So since I was like 20, I think, yeah. Do you, do you like it? I mean, is there any um, horror stories? Or? I mean, there is some weird things that happen. Like obviously, you know, men trying to touch me and like, um, <clears throat> like, well, where I work, there was like really high security, you know? So it's like, but being out here, it's a lot different dancing, you know? It's not as high security and stuff and it's not the safest, but yeah. I make it work. Yeah. But, what, do you ever go back to your your family? Yeah, I do. I go back to my family actually, like at least once, you know, like every two weeks. Well, when I'm out here, I've only been out here since Wednesday. And when I go back to Spokane, I always go back and I pick them up and then I take them to go do things. Like I got money and stuff, so I bring them places. Oh, really? um, oh, take cool. them to like I took them to like the little dinosaur thing in like Spokane and like both of them and like who, spend who, a lot of money on them. Who's a uh, Who's watching them? Their grandmas. I have oh, two yeah. baby dads, by the way. <laughs> yeah, sure. so um, my first baby dad was my boyfriend. Uh, my second one was not my boyfriend. Um, we weren't really together. And uh, he was, he lived right across from me in the apartment. And um, 
he never was there because he was on drugs too as well um because when i found out i was pregnant i was also doing drugs but i stopped right when i found out i was pregnant so he didn't want that responsibility so i moved on had my baby by myself named her by myself she has my last name um and yeah so I mean, the, the, the grandma what was grandma so the dads the dad both of the dads, oh, the dads they both have them yeah so they both watch them so like um i gotta talk to them all the time like i call them all the time I, are the dads in the, their life or um my son's dad as far as i know he's been there a lot but i don't know about my daughter's dad i, I don't talk to him no more is, is your grandpa and grandma still alive yeah they are yeah. actually um my my papa uh he actually wants me to come home <laughs> yeah and um he doesn't like all my tattoos my face tattoos and like um does he know that you're out, out here uh i don't think he knows i'm in portland no <laughs> so um he does know i'm dancing he my parent, grandparents did not like that at all um they said that it, they pretty I was conservative gonna, and stuff? uh yeah they are well my grandmother and my papa they're old school so like old school natives kind of um they did not like it at all uh, that's to say the least i guess <laughs> Uh, what's the plan for the future? You got any goals or anything? So, um, when I was with my ex, he was helping me like um, with a lot of things. Like he was helping me go, like get my get a new job, stop dancing. I stopped dancing actually at State Line. Um, so I did stop dancing for like a few months, and um, we actually recently just broke up. And so now um, I'm kind of just out doing my own thing, like back with people that I wasn't supposed to be with <laughs> um, so like uh, yeah I mean you got any like plan I mean any um, goals are you gonna keep doing what you're doing or you I, wanna go to college I, I was going to do beauty school I was all signed up for it my reservation my tribe was gonna pay for it and everything and I just didn't go I decided to start dancing because after we broke up I just kind of was like fuck it am I allowed to say that yeah. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Say what you want, man. Pretty sure. I just want to know this same dude who's doing, like, helping women get their story out. Yeah. He's the guy? Yeah, I think I really so. Want to talk to him. Okay. <laughs> I watched some of the videos and they're awesome. Yeah. <laughs> You're good. So, so, I mean, that's. Do you still so, want to I do want to. I actually. I do want to go back to beauty school, but. um right now i'm like in a tough situation so i'm trying to make enough money to get my car fixed and all that stuff right now so for right now i'm gonna keep dancing so hopefully in like maybe a year a year or so maybe i'll go back to school yeah, yeah. all right <laughs> well, do you have any uh, any advice or any quotes you want to give anybody um wait to have kids and when don't do drugs <laughs> don't do drugs and don't drink that's that that shit really fucked my life up because now i'm addicted to like doing like not doing the right thing because it's fun and it's it's easier than having to do like real jobs and stuff like that so like i love i love dancing but i mean i'm not saying it's bad it's, it's not bad but like just yeah i don't know do what you want to do not <laughs> yes all right thank you so much i appreciate it <laughs>